Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this GSM TV special. I'm your host, Pastor Solomon Akwaka, and I have a special guest with me today. Um, the man who uh, God delivered and God has raised up from you know the shadows, and He's brought into His kingdom to shed His light and to you know proclaim the gospel to everyone, to the nations. We're excited and excited to have in our studios for the very first time, Minister David Mel. David Mel, how are you doing? I'm fine, sir. Good. Welcome. Thank you so much. So, um, it's an honor and a privilege to be sitting here with you. And I know that you don't like titles. Um, you just look at what God would do through you and um, mm -hmm. you know that's that's one thing that we admire about you so thank you for being humble and sticking to your passion yeah. but I'll give you the opportunity to talk to the audience introduce who you are for those that are not familiar with <laughs> you and um, just you know just give them a, a little bit about who David Mel is and um, we can we can take off the interview from there well, first of all, I want to say a big thanks to the GSM and TV, um, the entire management and staff and all the <coughs> great men and hardworking women, you know, in this ministry for the opportunity given to me to be here yes, sir. to share my vision with the entire world. Well, my name is David Mel and I'm a Liberian from Sano County, mom from Grand Crew, so which means okay. I'm a 100% okay. crew boy. <laughs> crew boy. <laughs> <laughs> crew boy and, uh, and uh, a proud Liberian. And, uh, music is what I do. I used to do music the other way, you know, singing in the cycle of world, cycle of music. And uh, along the way, you know, I was about to launch something that no artist I've ever done before mm. in my time. I was about to drop an album called the Twins Album, which means two albums in one. Wow. And yeah, I've been working for probably like six years and at the time the Lord just cut me off and said, you know, that is not what I call you to do. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it has to do with some accident that happened. Wow. And yeah, and um right now, singing for the Lord. Yeah. And I just singing but preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Which is which is awesome. Yeah. And for those that want to hear about the testimony and the deliverance uh, you can come on Sunday this Sunday uh, November no, five, 10th at 5 p.m. at Success City you will not you 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 not want to miss this for anything yeah. in fact you he'll be sharing his life-changing testimony and we'll talk more about <laughs> that but I just wanted to give you a gist so you're a crew boy eh? <laughs> Who got a crew boy Hundred uh, percent blood, you know, wash crew blood. <laughs> wow, crew boy, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. oh, awesome, uh -huh. awesome. Yeah, and I, I, I like the way you are proud about about it. Oh so. yeah, I mean, you have to, you know, appreciate who you are. Whatever God puts you, it doesn't matter from the slum, you know. As long as you recognize, you know, there, there is a potential from where you're coming from. Yeah, you set a bridge yourself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's it's just incredible how <coughs> God can raise anybody. But then, um, from your testimony, as you've shared with me before, uh -huh. it looks like God predestined you for this journey. Um, I know it's it hasn't been easy, mm -hmm. um, so, but what was the what was the cha life changing moment that got you to know that God called you and he, he transformed your life? Well, I mean, good question. I mean, when I was in the fire, about to be consumed by the fire, I just, like, probably, I would say I had, like, maybe five seconds. Wow. Yeah. Just to breathe for the last time, and uh, God appeared to me. Faced just the way we're talking. He appeared to me in the midst of the fire. Okay. Don't don't share more. <laughs> I want people to see and, and, and the moment I recognized him, and the only thing I said, I said, God, if you get me out of here, I will sing your praise. And man of God, I don't even know how 
which way when mm. I got out of that place. So I just knew that was just what he had predestined me to do or yeah. called me to do. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. So yeah. if you've joined us uh, right now, feel free to share, tag uh, people who would, this will be a blessing to you. And yeah. don't forget that we are coming to you live and we have some, some, some great things in store for you. So stay tuned to this live show and you will never regret it. In fact, we have some, some things baked into it that we've not done yet, but um, by God's grace, we're gonna get into the conversation yeah. a little bit more. So, grateful evening. Mm -hmm. Grateful evening. Your blockbuster song, your, <laughs> um, you know, uh, <coughs> Your, your song, Grateful, is making waves out there by the grace of God. Yeah, um, by the have, grace of God. You have a video on YouTube, and we'll see that video shortly. But yeah. tell, how did Grateful um, even, and how did that tour get birthed? Well, I was meditating. Uh, you know, there are times in my life where I just separate myself and just, you know, seek the face of the Lord. And while my team and I was planning an album release, so... I, I went for 21 days, let me just say, 21 days asking God, you know, for direction. And the Spirit of God dropped it in my spirit. I should take the road mm -hmm. from nation to nation, from country to country, and do a grateful evening. Where everybody can just come from all over the place. And just being grateful, not just for the good things. Yes. But even the craziest thing, the bad things that happen. Because the scriptures say, all things work together for good. And just the, the, the good thing. So, God just put in my spirit. I like, go out there and just sh share your testimony mm -hmm. and bring people. Just come on our knees. Just go on our knees and say, God, we're grateful for everything you have done. Wow. Because you don't really find, you know, a worship service like that nowadays. Everybody, you know, want to tell God thank you for the money, for the children. But it just, sometimes we appreciate God for the bad things. Because, you know, the bad things sometimes help us and put in the right place. To appreciate the good things that come. So I mean, God just put in my spirit to go out there and just share my testimony and use that platform where we all can just come and say, "Lord, we're grateful for everything." Yeah. Yeah. And um, also along those lines, uh, we want to use this medium to express our sincere appreciation and thanks, God first, but yeah. all the ministries that have supported GSM TV Network over the years yeah. um, have partnered with us in various um, capacities. Yeah. And um, also, you know, all those who came out to our sixth GSM Awards, GSM TV Awards, um, October 20th of this year. Much, much appreciated. And so, before we go any further, we're going to um, play Grateful, the song by David Mel, the hit song by David Mel. And this is Afro Pop, which is changing the game. And by God's grace, uh, making inroads in the music industry so yeah. we want to play this song next to tell you how grateful you are uh, we are for you yeah. for those of us that are all of those that are out there those that will watch even later we are grateful to God for you and also um, David Mel is grateful for every encounter that he's had along this journey in life yeah. and you must as well be grateful so we will be right back Stay tuned um, as we listen to Grateful by David Mel. Thank you. 
Put on my baby Close on my body And you share to me You share to me So I say Come your blessing, your blessing Think they one by one Then you will know What thing that I can do I'm so thankful, yeah Thankful, yeah Woo. See, yeah I'm so grateful Grateful, yeah I used to be picky on the carrot All right, we just gave you a teaser right there, a teaser for sure. And so you'll be hearing more and, and getting a, a feel of what, um, what God is doing through this man of God, David Mill. And so you just saw a grateful uh, video. And I know that as you travel along and even as you just go on your daily life, people have asked you, um, you know, this is an out of the norm video this is a new uh, thing mm -hmm. tell us a little bit more about <coughs> how the concept of the grateful video came about well um, I don't do anything you know based on my understanding I have never done that I always ask my producer my best friend the one who guided me who teach me all things I don't know which is the Holy Spirit yeah. You know, so he always show me things. Whatever he, whatever he shows me, whatever pictures he put on my mind, that's what I bring out there. Reason why, you know, I'm stepping out of the box because, you know, as a young man, I've been around, I've been around the world. Yeah. I've interacted with a lot of young people. And some of the frustration people have, especially the young folks, folks, they don't want to come to church. They feel like they don't have space in the body of Christ. Right. They believe that people criticize them for the way they look and the, the lifestyle. And the ministry of the Lord has called me to, God has called me to the street. Mm. God didn't call me to the church, the building. He called me to the street. He That's told right. me to go on the street. I should go on the highways and the byways, like people like me, you know, and minister to them, have the love of Christ. So even my visual, my music, whatever I do, I always put my music in the place that a young girl, a young boy across the world can see yeah this young guy for christ and be like wow if he can do this for god i can do the same so basically my music is is appealing to the young generation yeah so so that's where that is the direction of your call that's is yeah, what exactly it, yeah exactly. so answer any critics that will be watching now or even later um the concept is different i've heard um, a, a few things about you know the, the how the video was shot mm -hmm. um, but you are saying that you were guided by the Spirit of God based on your target audience yes sir so yeah. how should a church respond to such a video well uh, <laughs> you talk about the church respond uh, I don't care what people say I mean if if you are truly a son and a woman of God and see young people, you know, who want to really serve God and doing 100% for God of life, I think you will believe and support what they're doing. As long as it's all about the gospel of Jesus Christ, the support should definitely be there. For example, um, the other night I was watching Kanye West. Sorry for, you know, chipping a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that's fine. This is a man who have a, a strong influence on the young people alive in the hip-hop world. And today he's doing it for Jesus Christ. Just one service, 1,000 souls. Who are the people? The same people we criticize, the same people yeah. we reject, the same people appear. I mean, they, they connected to him because they know that this guy, we used to follow him while he was out there doing it for the king of darkness and now he's doing it for Christ. Yeah. One more, one more, what, what, what next? So I just, you know, we just have to go that way. And, and you know what? Yeah. I'm going to help, you know, bring it home. Yeah. But to all believers that are watching and that will watch this, um, Let's appreciate what God is doing through his vessel. Yeah. Um, nobody is the custodian of the anointing and the revelation. 
So we should embrace as long as it's doctrinally sound, as mm -hmm. long as you know we, we judge character and it's right. All we can do is to continue to pray and support um, our, our ministers in the best way we can. And because that will catapult them to the next level. Because what we want to see is souls being won. You know, but we see a lot of infighting in amongst what sh how things should be done and mm -hmm. what is right or is this appropriate. Um, obviously, uh, th there may be some concerns about some things. However, the heart of the man that is speaking, based on what I've discerned, yeah. is that you are reaching out to your target audience um, through the direction of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Right, so, uh, let's shift gears a little bit. Now, you were in North Dakota, um, yeah. you know, for another grateful, for another evening. grateful evening. Yeah. And there are a lot of testimonies. Oh, it's um, still stay, stay, stay coming. Yeah. They're still coming in. Yeah. Um, so, tell us about this weekend. This, tell us about this weekend. What people... You know, give us some details. <coughs> um, I know this is going to be it would be on rehearsed, uh, you know, on choreographed. But mm. tell us what we can expect Sunday. What can I say? Uh, there's nothing much to say. You know, I just know that. Um, like I love this story. I always talk about it. Mm -hmm. The woman with the issue of blood. I heard it when I was a little boy. I yeah. never have a clear understanding about that story until I started to read through the power of the Holy Spirit. And something that shocked me was when Jesus was passing by, the Bible said there were multitudes of people, so which means in the thousands, and these are healthy people. They were all asking Jesus, mm -hmm. help me with this, help me with that, help me. Everybody had problems. But none of them problem was able to be solved until a woman who was bleeding she was in pain and i believe she never even had the strength to move to jesus mm. but she purposed in her heart jesus. and God. say if i can touch that mind of expectation so mm. i mean where the presence of god is there is liberty yeah. there is freedom there is deliverance there is healing so i mean i can say much people should just come with the mind of expectation yeah. and be like the woman that issue of blood for 12 good years. So I believe the presence of God is going to be there. Yeah. God is going to be present. It's just left for us to reach out and touch. My, my, yeah. my. And, and you know what? We're right here in the studio and I can feel that yeah. glory. Mm -hmm. You know, just covering yeah, the entire yeah. atmosphere on Sunday. Yeah. Sunday, November 10th, 5 p.m. at City of praise success yeah. city um it's 8433 west broadway um in brooklyn park you can't miss it no you can't miss it no. and and let me let me just promo your 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 work a little bit so you have 11 songs <laughs> on your cd yes sir 11 <laughs> songs like it's more than 10 plus one 11 songs on your cd why when people are doing five six songs on a cd why did he do 11 songs it's too much to give out i mean the songs are just coming you know i wrote you about my producer the holy spirit he just gave me songs so instead of me keeping you know all the songs in fact as a matter of fact this album is supposed to be 16 track oh wow yeah but most of the songs that we were selecting you know at the time uh they didn't come you know in the time we, we already put the album out so okay 10 song 11 song for the kingdom is nothing it's nothing if the yeah. secular world artists can produce 22 songs mm. 18 songs let me tell you something metal god i've been out there i know when it comes to entertainment the power behind entertainment yeah. the enemy is using entertainment to attract the people the young people because there is power entertainment and i come to the body of christ and i see you know we underestimate we take it for granted but there is a power Yes. In entertainment, yeah. in music, wow. in ministry, whatsoever. Yes. And you, you, when you when you bring a cycle of artists that was out there doing well, when God bring into the kingdom, for example, I always use Kanye. You see what he's doing? His drive, his passion for God is stronger. So everything he learned, he bring to the kingdom. 
He loves what the Holy Spirit put on his mind. He's doing exploits. Yeah. So we don't, we don't, we don't, like David said in the Bible, David said, I will not give God nothing that don't cost me much. Yeah. 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 And you know what? That's, that's enough said. You cannot afford to miss this. Yeah. That CD is 11 tracks on there. All of them from beginning to end will keep you yeah. going throughout your journey. So if it's an hour drive, if it's a 30 minute drive, you will enjoy every last song on there. And sorry, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. So you're not buying a CD. You buy the ticket, you get a CD immediately. Right. So, so you're, it's double combo. Yeah, yeah double combo. You know, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's a combo. Yeah. So you will be blessed by it, I'm, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. So Sunday at 5 p.m. at Success City. Now, we are going to go to our second video. And that's, um, you laugh at me um, because I'm not crew man, I'm not <laughs> bassa man, I'm not, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm not what do you, what do you call it, uh, man, but um, Motoke, 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 yeah, okay, Motoke, what yeah. does that mean? Uh, it's a Grebo language, mm -hmm. but it means that when I asked the question, they told me, you know, um, back in the days when the warrior went going to fight war, they sang that song. It's a motivational song. We are going to fight war on the war for, for God. Now, you changed that. You, you, I like the Afro-pop version. <laughs> Dance to the music. Dance yeah. to, that's one of my favorite parts. But, um, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. We're going to... Give you a taste of that clip and you can get more of that on YouTube and we'll be right back with you. Don't change that dial. teaser right there um, thank you for joining us and for staying um, tuned to this special broadcast um, from GSM TV Network um, with David Mill all the way from Philadelphia Pennsylvania um, coming to us here in Minnesota with grateful evening Sunday November 10th at 5 p.m. at Success City at 8433 West Broadway in Brooklyn Park now you can't afford to miss it now motoke 
right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you try. Yeah. I'll keep, I'll keep, I'll keep polishing <coughs> it up. So, yeah, yeah. so what motivated you to, to turn the song into an Afro pop? Well, uh, I was in Nigeria. Was it two thousand four? I used to be there, living there. Then, uh, for all these years, I left home. I went to a wake keeping one night at the Liberian, you know, community. And they were singing all the old Liberian songs. But when they raised this song, mm. everybody stood up, from the old to the small. And I could see in the faces that it, there was something that was missing from them. So when they started singing that song, you could see in their faces that they started missing home. And I said, oh, I'm going to do this song. Because I believe this song is going to, like, at the time now, it's going to connect me back home. So I did it before, but not this way. I oh. did it in another way. And it took me home to Liberia. So while I was there, that song made me more famous in Liberia. But then when I came back to the U.S. to the U.S. and uh, when it, while I was working on this project, I said, "Let me do something about home." And I told him remixing this song, oh, okay. but doing it in a different way this time around, more danceable, put on the international part where it can be played any part of the world alongside with any Afro kind of music. I like it. Yeah. I like it. So I have to, I have to go back to rearrange it, add some verse, make sure the beat, like I went to my brother D12 to make a very nice Afro pop beat for me, and that's it. Yeah. yeah. And so D12 produced that beat. Yeah, D12 um, produced beat. And, and I, I think that that's, that's mm -hmm. a, a, good, a good sign of what um, our people can produce. So locally, yeah. you know, what God is doing through uh, talents that we may otherwise uh, ignore. So thank you for, for that. Now I want to I want to twist things a little bit and okay. um, go back uh, to uh, when we first met. But uh, the this, the the founder of GSM TV is um, watching us um, as well as a lot of other yeah. uh, <coughs> well wishes of the network. Um, you you ministered at the sixth GSM TV Awards, yeah. uh, the song Grateful. Mm -hmm. um, and since then, you know, we, people have asked, you know, who is that person that did that, did that Grateful song? Now, <clears throat> your voice, how do you maintain <laughs> that quality voice? You know, and, and someone will be blessed by this. How do you maintain that yeah. <laughs> quality voice and the work ethic yeah, what yeah. what drives you <laughs> you don't like my answer though why t t t t t tell eat, us i eat enough palm butter <laughs> enough palm butter <laughs> that's why i normally tell people even my friends in south africa so how do you say me i'll tell them palm butter they say well, what is palm butter i say it's a liberian ditch but uh what uh i think it's i think it's a gift from god i believe it's a gift from god and uh, i always pray for my voice I always pray. Most of the time, I put my hands on my truck and say, God, give me an angelic voice to minister to people out there, a voice that will break yokes, a voice that will draw the young people to you, blind eyes open. I think my prayer is my prayer and yeah. recognizing the gift of God and praying about it. I don't do anything. I can drink ice water. I can eat grumpy peanuts. I can wow. eat any kind of oil food. My voice still the same. So your voice is uncrackable. That's why I say it came from above. Okay. I'm using it the right way. Okay. Yeah. So, so how do you get inspiration to to write songs? <clears throat> I'm a quiet person. Very, you know me. We've been together. Very quiet. I don't talk too much. I listen a lot. So whenever I, whenever I shut my mouth, I get inspiration. Whenever I shut my mouth, sometimes in my dreams. Mm. I hear music playing in my dreams. I wake up, I just take my phone, the next thing, record them. Sometimes yeah. just watching, you know, movies or listening to the man of God preaching, you know, just a little word yeah. can inspire me. Yeah, and just by watching, listening. Wow. Me, yeah. That's, that's yeah. great. And as we, as we um, prepare to wind down this, um, this broadcast, thank you again for joining us. I believe that you're learning something and you're being blessed by it, by the show. So go ahead and tag someone. Go ahead and share, um, mm -hmm. even as we, you know, climb out this. Because David Mel, um, a few days ago, released um, a new video. 
Yes, sir. Okay, and this is the uh, it is testament to what God is doing through this man, and and how you know uh, he's he's changing the game by injecting some some flavor that yeah. you know uh, yeah. may be missing. <coughs> Yeah, I know that um, okay. people may contend with it, but it may be missing in in in, in our modern day gospel music. So, you released um, a video. Tell us about that video. Oh yeah, um, uh, it's a cover version from uh, somebody that I admire in the gospel world, a pastor, Pastor Ty Tribute. A song called "Tell Me What Can I Do." And the very first thing I heard that song, I was going through, you know. Um, a body of decision in the body of decision I was having some struggle in my mind and when I heard that song it really blessed me it really helped me in the process and I said to myself can I do a version of the song in my own way mm. yeah I thought about it for a year and I went to the studio did it and I said let me just you know and I think I talked to you about it first yeah. and they gave me the like, inside what can I do and you did advise me so we did it and shot the video and put it out there all right. Yeah. So now we are going to um, actually watching live as well. Yeah. Um, thank you for all that have joined. Um, uh, Bishop Salas Harris, um, Pastor Karen, uh, uh, Caroline, Monica Green, um, our own Joyce Cooper, Joyful Design. Uh, she has been a faithful designer for. Uh, most of our awards and she's helped in other categories uh, we have Shadrick Daniels, Gardia Peters, um, Darlene Sandolo, uh, Samuel Bayo, Trinis Jones, Thelma Mason, Kofi Fire, oh the f the fire keepers, the, the, <laughs> the, the Kofi and the fire keepers is, is with us, Chester Weir, Daniel Killen, Isaac Finn Puni, oh that's another great talent um, we're, 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 we're privileged that he, she's watching us. And we have Adeze May has also joined us. Adeze, uh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis Gibson, senior at, at the bar. Um, Lester Washington, the list goes on and on. Elizabeth Nganga, all the way from our Arizona. Uh, we appreciate you. Uh, Rodney Peabody, the man himself. Yeah. Wow. The, I'm telling you, the, the and it's Pee Valley. <laughs> Pee Valley. Also, over there. man. Oh, Lee Coleman is is also um, watching us. Wow. Freedom Lathrop, um, James Hayes, um, Vaiju, and a whole host of other people. Thank you all for 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 coming on and for for watching watching us. Now we're gonna go to the What Can I Do song. It's a reggae cover for. What Can I Do by Ty Tribet, yeah. and um, it, it's been redone by David Mel. And over the last two days, yeah. um, the views have actually shot up. Um, it's going up. So, so we thank God and great <coughs> work. So we'll be right back. Don't change that. Don't scroll past us. Just keep <laughs> it right there, and we'll yeah. be right back.
<laughs> All right, yeah, that was a teaser. We we just want you to go to YouTube mm -hmm. um, <coughs> and watch the video in its entirety, and you'll be blessed by it. Um, in fact, he has multiple videos on there, plus this whole project is on YouTube yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, wow. um, 11 songs, plus now three music videos. Quality. Four uh, music videos. Four, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. That's, uh, my mouth is a little off, but <laughs> forgive me for that. Um, so, right. Adez and me is, is commenting here. God bless you, bro. I love the song. Uh, Rodney Peabody, my gifted brother, David Mel, yes, uh, truly, truly a talent in the kingdom. So thank you all for commenting. Now, so what can I do? Um, the timing of the release, mm -hmm. right? It's a few days before Grateful Evening. Yeah. Um, what triggered that? I mean, it was the time we set my entire management team was mm -hmm. everything we do Everything you're seeing right now is something that was playing probably a year ago. Wow. Yeah, so there was time that we should drop this song before, you know, The Grateful Evening. So we just did it the way we planned it. Okay. Uh, now, Grateful Evening is coming. And again, mm -hmm. just a reminder, it's November 10th, Sunday, November 10th at 5 p.m. The day after tomorrow. <laughs> the day after tomorrow. Yeah. Yes. Um, at Success City uh, on 8433 West Broadway um, in Brooklyn Park. Now... Who is the person behind your movement around just coordinating uh, things for David Mel? Can you tell people a little, little bit about who that person is? I know oh. you have many people working, yeah. and, but who is that one person that is, is really managing um, David Mel? I can't say one person. Okay. Yeah, I so got multiple people. I work with a team. Right. I work with a lot of people, Tell but basically that. I got two people who are really, I mean, God really using to make the dream come to pass, the reality. So first of all, my PRO, his name is Michael Bing. He's based in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's one of the men that pushed some things to happen. Then uh, my manager, Kevin Gibson, she's in PA, Philadelphia. You know, um, God is using her in a mighty way to, to bring everything that he put in my mind to reality yeah wow uh -huh. so um if you're watching or you watch later on um god bless you for what you continue to do and um you know this this vision seems like it's it's never gonna die and we, we, we can we, die we speak, yeah <laughs> we speak into it but can um die. wherever you are i just want you to lift up your voice and just bless god for this um man of god david mel yes, and sir. um just say a prayer. Um, it's not a time to, to take sides or anything. We are all part of the kingdom, and so we support what he is doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, as long as he's following Christ, right, that's the main thing. So say a word of prayer for Sunday, November 10th, which is um, in two days, yeah. um, that God's manifest glory would be made evident and that people yeah. would walk out <coughs> of there just liberated and and miracles, signs, and wonders will, yeah. be, will, will, will be present in that place. You use the woman with the issue of blood, mm -hmm. which I don't know if you knew what you were saying, but there will be deliverance in that place. Amen. No. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Be I believe that. That, I be, that, was, that was what the Spirit of God told me. That's why I used the scripture because <clears throat> when I was reading it, he, one thing he showed me, like I was trying to break it down to you, everybody was surrounding Jesus. They all, yeah. they all have problems they need an answer god was jesus heard them but mm. they were not answer reason why because they never have that belief that expectation for you to receive from god you must believe yes you must have that you god i believe this is going to happen the bible says he that cometh to god come by faith because without faith is it is impossible to please god god worked with faith and she believed that was that was that was all her faith and that faith set her free. So mm -hmm. what the Spirit of God is telling me, he, I'm going to be there. I'm already there. I'm here to solve problems. I'm here to bring, to live into the captain. I'm here to open the eyes of the blind. I'm here to set those who oppress loose, those who are addicted. I'm here. But until they can release, they mm -hmm. will receive from me. Wow. Yeah. That's deep. Mm -hmm. So ponder over that for a minute, and I'll have my production crew um, just flash on the screen the 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 flyer for Sunday's 
for Sunday's event. Um, and you will be blessed. Again, yeah. it's Sunday, November 10th uh, <coughs> at 5 p.m. Yeah. Okay. Come ready. Come prepared to worship. Yeah. In fact, come earlier. And I have, I have my great brothers on the... Sorry, everybody. <laughs> I have my great brothers who will be joining me to worship with God. I have my brother Paul, uh, Will Davis. These are all my family. My brother Wetty, Wetty Nepe. Don't f not forgetting the ambassador himself, the ambassador Oxford. And my little brother, No La. He's He have a different style of music. And God is also using him in this generation. So I have great men of God that is going to also be there to lead the people of God into mm. God's presence. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, so, Ambassador Oxford, yeah, it's it's amazing. Yeah. Uh, you're on there, Mr. Will Davis. Uh, you have, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Wesley. Tier, went, Tier yeah. Nipe is on there as well. And you cannot afford to miss it, uh, Minister Paul. Um, great, great, great minstrel of the yeah. gospel. And um, there'll be. There will be, I think, one or two surprises, right? Yeah. Um, for that evening. And one thing I promise the people, like I tell you, we're not going to keep the people long. We're not, we are not going to keep. And then also his... Um, is one call away yeah. um is 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 making waves he i'm telling you you can't afford to miss this grateful evening on sunday yeah. and i'm excited that we are you know we are hosting david mel here yeah. because um you know we want to connect with what god is doing through him mm -hmm. and so we celebrate him we hope you do all right we hope you do so now we would uh, just take a look at the flyer for that event just in case you're wondering comment on your screen if you if it's not on there right now there you go and um, yeah. so take a look at that um, it's a twenty dollar admission it's uh, you know you get a 11 track CD with with the admission and you know you will never go wrong with that grateful evening yeah. sunday november 10th uh we will start on the dot at 5 30 be there five and we will make sure that you will encounter the presence of god um yeah. now as we get along to close i want to also give a shout out to al jerome shede who joined um Bell Therese um, Pearson also joined. Etta Port is uh, joined us. Hugo Boss, uh, all of you out there that keep supporting the network, um, we appreciate you, and we 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 know that you throw the same support behind our brother David and what God is doing through him. So we celebrate you out there. We we thank God for you. Um, now let's. Uh, what is what is <coughs> it that you would ha say to the audience in closing? Well, first of all, let me use this time to say thanks to uh, the people God brought my way since I came to Minnesota. There are special people God brought in my life and been there for me, make sure I'm well taken care of. Let me use this medium to say thanks. First of all. Bless God for you, Pastor Solomon. I call him, I call him Osofo. For those of you living in Ghana, you know what I mean by that, Osofo. So I want to say special thanks on this media. Yeah, you open up to me and open the house to me. Make sure I eat 10,000 times a day and look good. And I also want to use this time to say special thanks to Vera Reese. You're not here today, but I still stay love you. And to the ambassador, Osfa. This man put me in his car every day. Get ready, get ready. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to this place there. I appreciate God for you, man of God. I love you so much from my heart. And I also want to say thanks to um, Sister Jen from Sussex City. She called me every day, checking on me. What kind of soup do you want? Thank God for you. Not forgetting my sister, uh, Tema, and uh, my brother, Shallow Man. You know, your, you and your family, your mother. And um, 
I don't want to forget one more person. What's that? What's that? <laughs> and you just thank God for Will Davis. Oh, yeah. Calling me, checking on me, and be a brother in my life. Okay. And not forgetting my manager, Kevin Gibson. God bless you. You're the best woman in the world. To my PRO, Michael Bean. And to everybody who support me, everybody who watching right now, I love you so much. You guys are the best people in the world. I pray for you that yeah. next year, you start the year with blessing and end with blessing. Amen. Amen. And um, Amen. please don't forget to, to, to subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please press the red button right now as I'm talking to you. And looking forward to see you on Sunday by the grace of God. Not forgetting, special thanks to the GSF, GSTV yeah. network. Yeah, to Pastor Vincent. God bless you, sir. He's behind the camera there doing some things there, but and your family, your wife, thank you so much for having me on the platform. Thank you so much. I'm grateful. Thank you. Yeah, and so thank you so much for yeah. coming. Um, yeah. We appreciate you um, and your humility, your dedication to the calling. And um, one more time, um, can we flash the flyer? Um, so in be in your mind even as we we, 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 we bring the lights um, down on this production. Now, you know that we as kingdom people need to support each other. So yeah. right now, if you don't have um, a way to c connect with David, hit us up, send us a message on Facebook, yeah. post on our <coughs> wall, we'll get, to, we'll get the information to him. But also, buy, pre purchase your tickets today. Yeah. Um, you know, reach out to GSM TV. We'll be happy to connect you with um, a way to get the ticket um, before Sunday, okay? Because we don't want a ticket shortage to hit you on on your way there at the door. So yeah. please get your tickets today. It's twenty dollars. Now, on behalf of the GSM TV network um, leadership and the board of directors. Uh, we th we thank everyone for watching and thank you David Mel. We're going to have you, a great night, a grateful evening and an encounter with God on Sunday, November 10th in two days. And you will never be the same. So come with expectation. God bless you and keep your dial on GSM TV. Yeah.